We're asked to solve the given quadratic equation using the box method of factoring. So what we're going to do is first sit, get this set equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract 24 from both sides so that I have an equation that is equal to zero. So I then obtain 4x squared minus 4x minus 24. Now, the other thing to do is check to see if there isn't a greatest common factor. So, in this case, I have a greatest common factor of 4. So then I've got x squared minus 1 minus 6. And of course, this all equals 0. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. So then I'm dealing with the following. 4x4 4 on the outside, and then on the inside, x squared minus 1 minus 6. And it's all equal to 0. So now, <clears throat> I have the following. I write the first term in the very first box, which is x squared. And the last term in the last box, which is minus 6. I multiply my coefficients, so 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. So now I need the factors of 6. So don't worry about positives or negatives for a minute. Just worry about the factors of 6. 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Now, I need to find the combination that will somehow give me a negative 1. And it'll probably be through subtraction. Since the only way to get a negative 6 is by having a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive. So I need a negative 1. The only combination that can give me a 1 period is 2 and 3. So suppose that I have a positive 2 and a minus 3. Well, that equals my negative 1 there. So that works, so that's probably what I'm looking for, but let's just check the other case. I have a minus 2 and a plus 3. Well, that gives me a positive 1, and that doesn't work. So this is exactly what I need. So I'm going to write plus 2 and minus 3. So I will write a plus 2x and a minus 3x here. Now, the next thing to do is factor this by factoring out the GCF for each of the two rows and then each of the two columns. So in the first row, I can factor out an x. In the second row, I can factor out a negative 3. Since 3 is a common factor and it's negative since the contents of the box that it touches here are negative. This is negative inside. Now factoring the first column, I can factor out an x. Since the only thing they have in common here are an x term. And the x with the smallest power is this x by itself. Looking at the second column, I have 2x and minus 6. So the only thing they have in common here then is a 2. And in this case it's positive since the contents of the box inside here are positive as well. So plus 2. So now here are my factors. Now recall that I had factored out a 4 from the very beginning. So I have x plus 2 times x minus 3. And of course everything is multiplied by 4 on the outside. And remember that since this was an equation, it equals something. So in this case it equals 0, since that's what we obtained from the very beginning. So now we set each of these terms, or each of these groups here, equal to 0. Since the principle of zero, the zero factor property, or the principle of zero product, says that if one thing times another equals 0, then either one or the other was, equal, was 0. So we can't set 4 equal to 0 because 4 obviously does not equal 0. But we can set x plus 2 equal to 0 and we can set x minus 3 equal to 0. So doing so we have x plus 2 equals 0. Well we'll subtract 2 from both sides. So x must either be equal to negative 2 in the first case or add 3 to the other side, add 3 to the other side x must be equal to 3. So our possible answers here are x equals negative 2 or 3. So we have solved the quadratic equation 
4x squared minus 4x equal to 24 using the box method of factoring.